are back once again at the Crescent City Cup 2018. This, this is Jackson over here. And this is Avery over here from Kansas City. Welcome back to awesome. round eight. Looks like we'll be watching Carl Johnson and Jason Lee, the two top seeds of the tournament in the TWL division. It's actually, round seven. I will correct you there because Jason Lee is undefeated at 6-0 and right now. What did I say? So he's uh, round eight. But it's oh, oops. I, I do that. Good. Um, so he's going to try to be... Def- oh, it's okay. He's going to try to defend his... Uh, Defend his undefeatedness. And I, don't know, I don't know if it's visible. First draft on this. is pretty. Yeah, I mean, I think he's gonna think about Waif or Fawn, F A W N. Those are both definitely considerable like options. Carl has Zaikai and an E on his rack, so. Oh, Zaikai is beautiful. I th- I think. I think both Waif and Fawn give that back in some degree. Oh, to some degree, yeah. yeah. It's interesting, between Waif and Fawn, Waif does put a vowel next to a double letter score, no matter what. Um, so you can't avoid that, which is slightly bad, because it makes parallels a bit more dangerous, but Fawn doesn't do that. And what do you think about the leaves? Leaving IRS versus NRS? Yeah. But it's now, somewhat comparable. Carl likely plays Aikai right on top of it. I don't know how much that scores, and I really yeah. don't. I don't feel like calculating that. Probably scores at least 40. close to 40. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly 40. Oh, nice. Um, intuition gets you some places yeah, sometimes. Great. Oh, and I didn't notice <laughs> I you, could actually play it as, you could actually play it as a four-way overlap. On, oh, I see. Uh, on the left side. But oh, that's even more that's, points, actually. It's one more point, I think, but yeah, it's way it more volatile. It's not necessary. I wouldn't... Uh, I would say... I mean, it, I mean, it opens... This one, open, N, 40.1 opens the triple, annoying. but it's not unreasonable. And you can actually also play it on the bottom. <laughs> so, yeah, he's got a smattering of options here. He obviously Lots of options with Zaikai. Yeah, yeah, I think he sees Zaikai. <laughs> would, I would I would bet a lot of money they see Zaikai right now. It's not just a random... Configuration tiles. You never we'll know. <laughs> um, yeah, I think Zaikai on the right making Za is a bit safer because it the way it opens a triple is not too dangerous because exactly. you have to overlap AI, which is kind of hard to do because not many tiles go underneath I. So I yeah, wouldn't. Yeah, not, like, would not like a lot of one pointers. So I like that a lot. Exactly. Yeah. It deals with the fawn hooks. Now the interesting thing here is though that Jason has the X so. Even though he won't have to use, the, he won't really be. He could use the triple if he wanted to with like six or sex or something, but he also has it like make going under fawn, like making Zax and sex. So he's going to be able to yeah. respond pretty quickly. Yeah. So um, for those who missed last game, uh, Evans ended up winning the game. It was really intense because Evans uh, basically there was one place to play a bingo and Orlet. Uh, sadly, missed ramifies, and Evans ended up been going there with Rondelette, so that was pretty much the game. Uh, very interesting game, though. Right. All right, it looks like Carl chose what we believe to be the ideal placement. So Yeah, I think it's, it's worth, the, worth the sacrifice. Looking really good here. I think yeah. Jason will play. Actually, I don't know. Zaikai takes an yes. SI. Thing. So, he might want to preserve that hook because he, he has could two play something. He could play sa- <laughs> sex and Zax. He could even. Oh, he has retax as well, which does kind of oh, preserve the hook. I, I wasn't really looking at that. That's actually uh, another interesting play. Is just dropping the X with AX is really interesting because he bingos a lot, and the hook for Zaikai is pretty protected. Yeah, that is. Interesting, um, I actually. think retax is. Pretty I mean, it just depends on which he bingos, because you think he bingos with all of the all of the um, the vowels. Like maybe not I though. Um, no, not with I. That's like Eurydice's. But and he bingos with. Um, let me check. Him. Oh, this it looks like. Well. I mean, I just checked this. He draw, He bingos with like a lot of tiles. I'm not gonna calculate how many exactly, but yeah, oh, it's, it's, it's A B D E F G K L M N O. This is actually a really interesting play. There's just so many good viable options like it's just there yeah I don't, I don't know what the opposite of lesser of two evils is but he has like the best of a <laughs> the lot greater of greater of two goods 
Oh, that's yeah, what he has. He's, he's stacked. That's what I would call it. Um, Looks um, like, from what I can see, the sim likes AX, and I mean, I can agree with that. I mean, I, yeah, I, I tend to but... not like one tile fishes if I can avoid them. So I, I might, I might play. Yeah. This, I might play something else here. But the I thing, the thing I, that. yeah, and what's lovely about AX is that. Since you hit the Zaikai's lane, the Zaikai's lane is pretty huge. You score over 90 points almost always. Oh, he, he finds AX. Yeah, I'm, there it is. I'm very happy he played that. It's Because it's very tempting to play retax because you keep an S and you score 40 points, but AX is just a monster of a lead. ISS isn't necessarily a good lead. I mean, it scores a lot, but I think he's just thinking about the fact that he draws a lot of bingos. And there we go. He gets recites in two spots. Yeah. We're already off to the races. Yeah. <laughs> Although Carl... Carl's gonna, is, uh, doing Carl's gonna okay bingo. himself. And the interesting thing he, is, the, he obviously doesn't know this, but I think no matter what, no, no, never mind. He he can't. He doesn't triple triple if he puts an A in there. But if he plays Euro Deal, then yeah, then Jason get gets surety. Jason gets sureties for a lot. And of points. I think he would definitely choose to play Euro Deal yeah, rather exactly. than Oriole because usually you'd rather have a U there than an A. It's less dangerous. Euro Deal so, and any Florine isn't any better because. The e oh, it's true, yeah. Even, even more dangerous to put out there than the A. Yeah, I think, I think Eurodel is probably what he's playing, unless I'm missing something. Um, nah, I'm looking at the Quackle okay. thing on the stream now, and it wow. looks like... Yeah, I think I think things are about to change really fast. It's so interesting. Like, I mean, just watching all these games from this perspective, it's like, it seems like... I mean, this is obvious, but like every single turn, it's like, oh, if, if only you knew their rack, your play would be completely different. It's like so rare that your play is actually the one that is best if you know their rack. It's, yeah, it's very interesting. So it's all about average. Like, on average, your Adele might be best, but, like, with most... I think that's with like something a that a lot of people don't understand about high-level Scrabble is, like, the the odds of our certain response rack becoming important or whatever. It's true. And then... And also, if Carl plays your Adele and Jason Lee slaps down sureties, that does not mean your Adele was not the right play from yeah. Carl's perspective. I feel like... And that's... That didn't work out. I feel like... Actually, Josh Sokol in particular is like really results oriented sometimes. So like, he might really talk himself. At, he he. I think from what I've noticed, like he'd probably convince himself that Eurodell was probably wrong. But like, if you look at the options, like I feel like Eurodell is best. And I mean, I I, I, te I I tend to be like that too. I mean, I get hard on myself if I if my opponent responds in an unfavorable way. But it's true. I think, I think here. It's kind of clear, like, you can't be mad at yourself because Eurodell is pretty much significantly better than the other two. Yeah, I, I agree. And I, I think on the Josh Sokol point, I also wonder, I think, because a lot of the time, since he's such a psychological player, he, I think he may think that, like, oh, he could have somehow deduced what the opponent had and what he should have done. Right. I don't know if Eurodell would have been that kind of play because it's very hard to deduce, like, a specific bingo rack. But you could deduce certain things from Axe for sure. Like you could definitely deduce probably something close to a bingo. Um, and it's interesting. I think the weird thing about this position, especially, is like you, there's like no good option that isn't a bingo, and you know, like almost yes, surely sure. that Jason was keeping really strong after Axe. Otherwise, he wouldn't make that play. Yeah. Like after Axe, I did for an S. I did for something really, really strong involving an S, probably an E and other good stuff yeah it is true if he had something if he had a decent play that didn't give back that didn't uh if he had a decent play at all that wasn't a bingo he may want to play it because of jason's fish but with zaikai's open it's like he has a big lane anyways and it's gonna be hard to take out zaikai's so i also wonder let's see looks like carl's laying something down Oh, it looks like he's laying down Oriole. He's laying Oriole. Wow, see, Carl's a genius. He knows that Eurodel was all in a triple triple. <laughs> How about that? What? Jeez. Oh, my God. Oh, that's... I wonder why... I mean... I, I wonder why you wouldn't do Eurodel there, but, like... You could, you could easily miss it. Like, I feel um, like that's some, like... There is... That's, some, that's awesome. I mean, it works out. He's got, but Jason's getting a bingo no matter what. He's going to bingo. Bingo, but yeah, triple triple would have been devastating. He might that have missed crazy. Your, He actually might have missed yeah. here. It's like it's I not mean, like the most common word, just like it doesn't come up that much because it doesn't have like a stem or anything in it. 
Yeah, I, th- I think it's most likely you missed it. Um, I don't see any like strategic reason you would rather play Oriole. There is like putting the E in the double double, which is slightly worse, like uh, more dangerous than putting the O with Oriole. But I think that the triple lane is a bit more worrisome than the double double lane. Right. So it's interesting. So would you? Would you? Nice. I, I know Dave Weekend would be aggressive enough to do this, but would you play Zykais and recites here? Um, for eighty-eight. <laughs> Let's see, 88 versus versus 75. I mean, I would probably play Recites, yeah. But would you play it with... Which S would you put next to Zykeis? I would I would do the higher scoring one, for sure. Because because then you have two big scoring spots open. Okay. Um, but like yeah, Two big scoring spots, and then you just yeah. get one of them on average. I mean, again, it's like still slightly negative because Carl gets first crack at it. But I would rather not sacrifice so many points. Exactly. I, I, I think mean, I can see merit in that, but I... I don't know. I think I I might like the one that's eight. That's like seven points less. So, I don't know because I feel like. I guess I, mean, I guess it's kind of hard to say. I mean, resize does give back more, but you know what? I'd rather honestly have two scoring spots available because then you can trade off rather than just one scoring spot available. I think, and I think I'm gets... too paranoid about putting an R there. It's probably not that bad, but like I tend to overestimate how dangerous something is. And like here, we'll see right. for, probably for like thirty nine, which isn't awful. Yeah, but like it's. I'm usually more weird with the A. It's harder to hit. An, I think it's harder to hit an A than it is to hit that R. I do disagree. But really? Like I guess. Yeah, I, I'm I, I think, more worried I think, with the A. I think, what I'm, I think it's easier to hit the A, but the R leads to more higher scoring options, maybe. Okay. I think that's what I think that's what I'm deducing from it, and I mean I could very well be wrong. I'm usually pretty bad at analyzing that. Kind oh, of that's thing. very interesting. Um, wow, I see. And, Jason and has... Jared, Jason drew a bingo. It plays oh my god, he has a crazy... A 3T bingo. He also has a bingo through the U. Which is pretty awesome. Oh, I didn't see Tuftiest. Ooh, that's... Yeah. Fit is... Oh, man. And it's not getting blocked. What like, a draw. Yeah. That's, that's... No, I doubt it. Um, yeah. It's crazy. Three T's and three bingos. That... Actually, oh, he has he Fatty. He has triple turn. <laughs> triple. Oh my god. If, if, if Carl plays Verb, oh my god. Oh, things oh, are... man. oh man! Imagine oh my, so we were just talking about how Eurodell gives up a triple triple, triple <laughs> and Carl's so smart for putting the A there. Now he's gonna get a triple triple with the A <laughs> with a different. Picket. That is if oh now my that's, god, that is that's just scrabble. If if Jason saw Eurodell, if Jason saw that Carl could have played Eurodell and got a bit annoyed at that, that he's like, oh, I didn't get a triple triple because Carl missed another word. Now Jason gets his like, like vengeance completely. <laughs> he's like, man, I do get wow. my triple triple. I mean, yeah. technically, he could play Vav here. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, like, and what if Carl plays that's Vav? A, I really that's hope definitely he plays a worthwhile Vav. consideration. That would just be Carl would just be amazing. Oh my god! <laughs> I feel like Gabe, I feel like Gibson would play Vav here and just avoid that disaster situation. Gibson would just start crying because there's too many things open for him. That's true. Also, this so is I don't know weird. what he would do. Gibson would play. Yeah, this is uh. Gibson would play VV and then draw a blank and an R or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I think... Oh, he's considering Bobber. Oh, Bobber! I mean, it's oh, the Bobber good play, but like, I, I'd play Verb over that. It's just it's so Where important. is that? Probably, to, yeah, the, probably to the top R. I mean... Or to the I R think Bobber R. physics... I think Bobber is TWL. Um, I recognize it, so it's probably... Yeah, it is TWL. Yeah, it is. Uh, I, no, no, it's T, it's TWL. I know that word. I feel like I know more words than strategy. It's kind of annoying. I mean, it's pretty good, I'd say. Uh, and, Bobber uh, is both in college. Well. Look at this! Not- oh, man! Oh, Carl, come on. How did he do this? Blocks two, two triple triples. Oh, my God. I love Carl. Oh. This, is, this is awesome. What? Okay, so, I mean, Jason still gets his bingo. He still gets fittest below. Like, oh my goodness, that's <laughs> hilarious. Yeah. I mean, Houston's interesting. <sighs> Holy. Oh, man. I'm... That's really funny. <laughs> okay. Now we're cooking. Yeah, I mean, Carl's still down a bingo. It's it's not as devastating as Fadius would be. He must be... If he sees Fadius now, he must be really happy. Yeah, he probably is. Yeah, he dodged that bullet, man. I don't know. Like, I'm, I always wonder: Do people like look at their opponent's plays and see like what they could have done? Because I always, I always like miss that. I never think to like look 
look at Fittis and think what could have happened. I just try to focus on my own rack, but like, you would feel, I, feel pretty I don't good. Dur I don't during the game, but I'm like always after. And look at Jason drawing another bingo. <laughs> oh my god, Jason, come on. What are you doing? Um, wow. Um, uh, what is, is it an eight, like, careered through the E? Yeah, I see careered, and there might be another. Yeah. Uh, there could be something else. Sacreder and scareder don't work. Yeah. Um, oh, the fern plant one, is that fern linzen? How you pronounce the last name? Where, Somebody in the chat. Who are you talking about? Oh, Somebody's in the chat saying hi one. to you. Oh, it's probably fern linzen. Hey, fern, how's it going? Um, <laughs> or, Kate. Or I feel so bad for Doubter Kate right now. Far. <laughs> I know, Kate, I feel bad because I was yelling my computer, but you don't get to yell at your I'm, computer. I'm just, and the annoying thing is, like, yeah. I have to be kind of quiet because my family is sleeping in, a t like, a doorway. Okay. But, like, this is hilarious how everything is going perfectly right now with a VOV. And even crazier. But, no, the thing about this, Carl just blocked careered as well. Not that it was super surprising this time, but, like, <laughs> Jason Oh, is... I just noticed that. <laughs> I mean, Jason's not getting... I wouldn't feel too bad for Jason, because he's still getting, like, three bingos, but, like, oh, man. Thank well, you for... Not, thank I you very much. I don't think he's bingo um, here, though. I don't, I don't think so, but I'm saying it's... I guess he just keeps getting blocked, all these things. Did he draw Anaphor? No, he did not draw Anaphor. He drew a C instead. Oh, I feel like there's... Is Pinocha? But there's Pinocha. Pinocha. Yeah. Yeah. He sees it immediately. Carl knows a lot of sevens. Carl is a word machine. He... If you guys don't know what Arrowith is, it's a website where you can practice Scrabble studying every day with like daily challenges, and he usually is very consistent at getting first place on the seven-letter words. So I'm not surprised oh, at all that he's able to find that. He's probably going to do it after this, after all eight games are done today, and he might he probably is going to go and beat me, even though I put up a good time today. I don't, so know, if, I don't, I don't know if he's going to block Pinocha here. I mean, that's what I'm wondering. I mean. He has, let's see, I mean, he's, he's in an interesting position, because he's actually not up by too much. He's up by, what, 43, which is definitely decent. The board's still pretty open, though. Not as open as it yeah. was before, but it's still fairly open. Yeah, um, he's probably going to play, I don't know what he's going to play, actually. But, I mean, but he has, traced, uh, he, traced seems like equity, but it's probably not ideal. Yeah, I mean, I got really lucky. Yeah, I wouldn't open the board so much when he's up by that much. I would, I mean, the thing is, he can play something like Cedars, C E D A R S T S oh, blocks I quite a bit actually. For some reason, I wasn't even like looking in that area. I'm trying I don't know, to. Like, it's it's some, it's something I would definitely consider. Um, no, for just sure. For defensive. I, area. I wonder if like. But he can also just. Sorry. I wonder if Rec setting up your D has any merit. Where is that? With the K and Zaikai. I mean, it's not ideal because it's a oh. four tile lead, which I don't like, but. ADR is pretty nice. If you can have the C in there, though, I, I think I, I think I like cadres and or cedars better. I mean, cadres, he could actually. Like yeah, yeah, he could play uh, AXE and ER to be super. If he wants to be aggro, I don't think I'd go this route. But he could no. play ER off of AX. I don't think that's Jason's thirteen because ACDER is pretty monstrous. Yeah, I don't think Jason will do it because he's pretty defensive. But that is a pretty monster leave. Um, and it. Well, it's a monster leave, and go. the board's open, but like. That just yeah. doesn't fit with what I think Jason would play. Yeah, I think Kadri's... Oh, there he goes with Trace. Oh, he's going with oh, Trace. See, this is interesting, because Jason, this morning when we saw him, he was also playing pretty aggressively like this. I wonder That's if he's, like, like I, I, would style since the last time I saw him. He def I mean, he, he thinks about this stuff a lot, so he definitely might be. Josh will be a good person to ask about that, because he plays Jason a lot. Yeah. Um, I'm very surprised he didn't play Kadri's. Um, That's interesting. But so now we're going to see Pinocha for 93. See Pinocha, yeah. <laughs> and Jason will regret his decisions. See, this is this is this time like Carl's like making all sorts of like he knows Jason's racks, but Jason doesn't know how to predict like any of this. Yeah. Like Carl would have found a way to block Pinocha. <laughs> oh, and Jason's drawing badly. He got the bingo tax. He got hit with the bingo tax. Although I wonder if Carl's gonna get it hit as well. Um nah, who knows? It's actually pretty close. It's a twenty point game. See, this it is, is very a good close game right now. Better players. Here's what I'm wondering. There's no way to set up the J with Jin, is there? Because if you can make a play to the K in Zaikai, is putting a vowel there, you, don't you can have set a, up a J play. You don't have a three-letter word beginning with J-E, though, so it'd be pretty hard. Yeah, I mean, it's not... Yeah. 
I mean, if you had a, to think if about you had a, oh, I see. if you had a T, it'd be better, but you don't have a T. Jet, or, I mean, it might be worth considering keeping the J just for that reason, because the J could definitely be set up in the Yeah, future. I don't think he's behind um, I would think about that at least. Oh, no, not even just because he's behind, just in terms of making a solid play. Like, if he plays Harm or something through the A in Pinocha, that's something that it could get a setup in the future. I feel like that takes too long to set up, and it would just, like, slow you down. Yeah, it is like a like three if, turn. If you, could hit it, like, if you could hit it in like two turns, I'd be, I, I might consider that. But since you have to use more turns, it'd be annoying. It's interesting. And yeah, physics. I got, I got pretty lucky on the knives. I've been looking for like more prefixes and suffixes in them, and like, they've been coming out a little bit more easily once I start doing that. Because before I was just like looking for like eights that end in s and stuff, and things that were based on bingos. But then I started like slowing down and looking at those, and I think it's helped a lot. But like, hmm. it's kind of cheap because like I've never studied nines in my life. But well, I know fine. It's, I know physics and those things. So Herm, what did eleven he, what did he, J. Is there is there a no? He doesn't have euploid. I thought he had an, like euploidy without the O. Never mind. Oh, I see. So Herm is something that is off of Fittis, making sh. That's something. I, I mean, actually, Herm does take an A, which is slightly annoying. Yeah. That's pretty big scoring that you're setting up. Um. But again, Herm to keep the J, it's something I'd consider. Uh, Jerk seems like HMNR has pretty good like scoring potential if he draws some vowels. Um, I don't like making myself like dependent on those kinds of draws, but like there's also enough vowels, I guess. I don't know if I'd end up going that route though. Yeah. I think something. I mean, it seems. How many D's are left? There's two D's left, so J I N N S is kind of playing with fire. I'm not. I mean, but even if you said it. Even if he has a D, that's not so bad. Like, like Carl does have a D, and he's not going to get that many points, I don't think, from the Jin hook. So I think Jin's is worth considering. Uh, I would definitely think about that. Mm -hmm. It seems like each each play has a downside. Like, Herm yeah. takes the A, Jerk keeps too many consonants. Like, uh, Jin's has the annoying D hook, but I think keeping the there H is a good idea. Because, yeah. yeah, you have this... C over there some, from Trace, that so you can yeah, hit that, I, CH I plays. Didn't think about this. I didn't think about this fact. You get Charmer also. easily, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think Jin's a pretty solid play. Yeah, definitely. So now Carl gets to look for all of his Ooh, and, and he's in them. J Josh just got home, so now he gets to oh, join sweet. the call. And he can... Awesome. Um, so, Carl has a nice overlap of of Panocha, he has layup underneath for 40 points. Um, so it also keeps the D. Layup does keep the D, which is pretty cool. Um, right. There's also Wait, what, yeah. what, what did you suggest? Layup? Layup underneath Panocha. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, that's really nice. Um, um, I mean, it keeps the D. The chance that like, Jason could easily be setting up a D, but that's not the end of the world because there's so many lanes already, so I don't think you should be super worried about I wouldn't that, necessarily. I wouldn't game. necessarily infer that he's setting up a D. I mean, it could just be that he's confident. Yeah, I completely agree. I think probably more than more than random, he has a D, but definitely not like definitely yeah, not super exactly. at all. Um, so it seems like layup is winning the same, which is not super surprising. It doesn't seem like the Jin's players are super great this time. Looks like he's considering Yelp, which isn't bad. Yeah. Though. I mean, with all the lanes open, with the C and the E especially and Trace, like, and the R, A-D-I-L actually is not so bad. Yeah, and he's playing it on top, which I like a little bit I think better I would... than the one on the bottom. Yeah. Um, and he's keeping yeah, that so. D. I, th I think the D has a lot of value here, obviously. So It it's does, good. yeah. It's, it's good that he's keeping a reasonable leave with it. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty, like, it's very, he must be thinking about the board here, because ADIL typically probably wouldn't be worth sacrificing so many points, but on this open right. board, it, it might be, actually. So that's but pretty he got, cool. He, he did get the Q. I mean, he has Kadi for however many that is, 28, 29, 30, 38, 40, 42. Um, so Jason does have a bingo, as he does. Chromi Chromi tells is, us. Chrom is Chromier yeah. a word? I'm not looking Chromier at is good, and he's not going to play it. Wow. That's kind of hard to find, though. Actually, I, I don't know if I would have been also, sure. Enough. I don't know if I would have been sure yeah, enough to play it. If you find it, you won't know it's a word necessarily. Yeah, I think that's the hard thing about 
words with affixes in them. Yeah. So I expect Caddy to come down pretty quickly. I don't think there's many other Q plays worth considering. You have QIS, but I don't think you're playing that. No. I mean, ADILN is a pretty good leave on this board, but yeah, you can't. He's scoring so many points with Caddy. Oh, Jason draws a blank, man. Uh, so I'm glad the blanks are split. Oh, he has Wriggles and Wriggles. That's amazing. Oh, jeez. Oh. Uh, Imagine if Carl had blocked that. I guess Carl... Yeah, Carl didn't... He didn't come through this time. Um, wow. I think... He, I guess he could play Wiggles. Oh, wait. Oh, I see an S yeah, on his rack. He just play Wiggled. Wow. Oh, wait. If he plays Wiggled, Carl gets Nucleans. Um, yeah. Yeah, he does. Jeez, so what, what Jason should do is play... He should play Wriggled through the E and Traced to block Nucleans. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Unfortunately, Wiggled, I don't think anybody would do that. <laughs> See, man, I can't believe that. He plays Homer, keeping IR, and draws under Wriggled. So actually, I think... I think actually Cadi was intentional because he knew that the C wouldn't get locked. <laughs> Carl just knows exactly what's going on in this game. Carl is on point. And it's going to be 400 to 402 after this if he finds Nucleans. That's insane. See, that's this is a really yeah. good game, actually. There are like a lot of things this game. A lot of yeah, high-scoring plays. One, two, three, they're, both, they're both on. Yeah, he sees it. He We know what's coming. the sixth bingo of the game. Wow. Six bingo of the game. <sighs> I think they can go for seven. Still, and most of these haven't space. even been like the most common bingos ever. Like, yeah, like, like Pinocchio. The most common is like, one, and it's like not ridiculously high com high probability. Oh man, does he have DA or rate anywhere? No, he has a Y. Oh, he has DA or rate through the R. No, he has oh, a it's a Y. Yeah, that was an A. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> if it was an A, that would be a pretty sick bingo. Oh <sighs> man. How often does A A A D E E E T bingo? That's crazy. That's like well, the only thing it bingoes with. Wow, this game is. We got some momentum this game. Nobody's out of the woods yet, although. Jason, it's Jason's turn, and game is basically even. So Carl's got to hope that he draws reasonably well. There's and, a lot of O's to be drawn. It seems like Carl's drawing those O's right now. Oh, uh, uh oh, oh, oh uh -oh. that's um, almost Oagonia. Oagonia would have been pretty sick, but not this time. Um, so what do we see here? Yeah, I mean, he just needs to worry Jason's about. Ra like, Jason's rack is just... pretty strong, actually. So. Given all those O's out, yeah. Um, I, didn't, I didn't see often tear and Feta. That's a pretty strong play, although the Y could be troublesome with all those O's left. Although, little does Jason know, three of them are on Carl's rack. Where is this play? Of the uh, 11 E for 30. T E A R. O T E A R. Hey, can you guys hear me? Hi, Josh. Yes. Hey, Josh. How's it going? Good. Oh, man. Um, yeah, so I saw I saw on the... Uh, I just wanted to say I saw that Jason had Chromier aligned on his rack at some point when you guys were speaking. But I think oh, okay. he just talked himself out of it because it's yeah. a weird one. Yeah, yeah Chromier... It's, I think it's new, isn't it? Um, oh, my yeah. God is not a TWL. Yeah. Um, Chromier is not a new Oh, oh my god, it's called, yeah. This. Oh, it's not new. Really? No, I, 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 um, I probably wouldn't have been sure enough to play it either, so I can't blame him. Well, personally, I, I'm aware of what Jason's uh, bingo range is, and that is outside of it. So uh, it's no surprise that he didn't uh, pull the trigger. I you know. I think you know him a lot better than Jackson or I do, so you actually might be able to comment on, like, did you happen to see when he played Traced? Uh, I did not. I did not. Um, I just ER, got back. So we were, we were wondering, like after the game, like if you could look at that, because like it seems like uncharacteristic of him to want to open the board when the score is closed. I I would think he wanna wants to keep it more shut, given what. Yeah, it, that is, that would be uncharacteristic. Yes, but he's not. I mean, he was he actually doesn't have a one track mind. Um, he right. will he will sometimes play offensively, rather than defensively. He seems to be doing that a lot this tournament so far. He's he was actually up forty when he played Trace, which was even more surprising. But this whole tournament, he's been playing pretty aggressively. Yeah. So it's it's been interesting. That's my boy. 
Yeah, Jason and I are clubmates, so we've played each other um, as too many times. I can't count the amount of times. But uh, yeah, he, I'm glad to see him doing well, and I hope uh, it'll continue. Looks like he's in good shape right now. Yeah, I mean, championship player is saying he's very, he's a strong favorite to win this game, at least above 80% if he makes reasonable play. It makes sense. The pool is so like awful at this point. Yeah. Carl's Rack is pretty representative of that. <laughs> um, Jim Brennan asked what my range is. I think that's Jim Brennan, right? Bren Jam? Yeah, correct. It uh, is, yeah. I would be embarrassed to say what my range is, my studying range, how many words I've studied. Um, and it is pretty much all over the place, too. So, yeah. But your strategy makes up for that. Perhaps. <laughs> so let's see what he's he's, cons he's what is he considering? I. Is he or is he considering tear? Because he has AET. Um, he he I tends to do this. He tends to put the letters for a play on one side of his rack, not necessarily in the correct oh, order, but it does look like he's playing eyed. Okay. And it's an interesting decision to leave two in the bag rather than three. I think it's a good decision because. Uh, yeah, I agree. Uh, it makes Carl's play a lot harder because he can't play off two tiles with E's anymore. Um, with E's, E-A-S-E, -E, not with many E's, plural. <laughs> um, e -A -S -E. I think, yeah, I mean, T-E-A-R is E-A-S-E's. Um, I think the, the decision to play off four tiles is, I think, a smart one. And he's makes... drawn, he's drawn pretty well here. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we're going to get our seventh bingo of the game, though. Unfortunately. <laughs> And just just That'd retailer, cool. right? Yeah. No, it's all it's ulterior, which does play. I'm, <laughs> I'm totally kidding. I'm messing with you. <laughs> Almost got I, me. I, want, I, I wanted to see if your um, range, I wanted to see if your range would mess. It's anterior and ulterior. I'm, uh, I, I think I'm paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> no, so his bingo of retailer does not play. So like Carl probably needs to play off a lot of tiles here and hope. He I think can he just, draw I think he just has to hope he can get the two tiles out. he draws. Yeah. I think so. The most efficient way to do that. Yeah, that's the real question. You could do only... Imago. Where is that play? But that may not work. Imago and that? on off of Nucleans. Just 18 points. Oh, yeah. My, um, my window was blocking that. I'd rather play off five tiles. Yeah, well, he you can, can play, play five he tiles. You can play three. Imago um, under the, T, the last T and fittest. Like, putting the O out there isn't True. really that... Bad, it really isn't, yeah. Because if you can, weird. I don't know. This is a really, really, really tough position. Yeah, I know. And he has to hope he has. He draws two consonants. If he draws another vowel, he's probably out of it. I do. Yeah, I do like your suggestion, Jackson, of playing as many tiles as, as possible because it doesn't seem like he can score enough to uh, to eke it out in uh, the end game here. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Oh, I was just thinking about Agio at top nucleons for right. 21. That's pretty interesting. But I'm wondering if he can draw an outplay, though. Even oh, if he draws two consonants. They're rescoring. So, like, if he does play a Mago, like, BN is in the bag. Does he get an out? Well, he has Boone. Let's see. I mean, he would have Boone at top nucleons. If he plays Imago on yeah. the left, he would have Boone on the right side. Uh, what else could he have? Of Tom seeing so far. Well, I, I feel like you can block that pretty easily, though. It's true. Because, like, I don't think he has another. Does no boron doesn't play? It, well, like it does, but Imaco blocks that. Yeah, that's interesting. Oh, interesting. it's too bad Jason can't play aerofoil through the OF. That would be pretty cool. Where's the <laughs> OF? Oh, that would be. An Oriole and Beautiful. Fittest. Oh, he's playing Agio pretty I fast. I think Jason... Yeah, it's interesting. Um, oh, he already played it. I think Jason's going to eke this one out. I think he can just do an out in two and make yeah, sure he, that he... he has easy outs in two because Carl can't go out. Are we sure? Uh, not sure at all. <laughs> <I've>... <laughs> Something we should definitely confirm. 
I feel like with B and M on his rec, he's not going to. I don't think there's any sixes in that. And Quackle confirms that according to the championship player, there is no win, and Jason should take this game. But we'll see. I mean, unless there's some big scoring spot that we're missing for Carl's rack. Well, I'm using. Well, well, like now I'm using Quackle to double check. Oh, I see. Yeah, he still has tear for though. thirty points. Yeah, that's tear's that's, the best. End he game. does, yeah. I guess that leaves Roy. Oh, at least enough things. I guess Neroli it leaves. Yeah, Neroli is his best out. Actually, it might be his only. He's, out. I I don't think he's gonna end up playing tear. I think he's gonna play something he's sure. Yeah, he's sure is yeah. like, good enough. I think he's gonna. I don't know. Something easier might just be often high rate or something. But yeah, he yeah. has he has a whole lot of wins here. It looks like he's going yeah. to succeed. Yeah, he really got a really nice like AET that it led to good things. This nice balanced rack. Yeah, it could have easily gone south with all those O's unseen. He was I guess he was lucky that Carl had them. But I think both players yeah. played really well this game. I think maybe Agio is questionable, but that's a really tough pre-end game to figure out. It is, yeah. Well, what was like? Did we did we get um, did we get a simulation on the Agio play to see what was suggested that he do? I can. Yeah, like what championship player was thinking? Championship player is going to take too long if there's nine unseen. I think actually, no, all plays up okay. the bag. It'll be okay. Oh, he's considering tear. I think he's just trying to see if there. I think he's just trying to make sure that there's more than one out, and if he only sees Neroli as an out, he might not be confident enough to play it. Yeah, actually, I think with Ide, maybe he was keeping Tear. Maybe he knew about it when he played Ide, because he probably did see it. But like now, yeah, he knows it's not getting blocked too often. I mean, I think he knows that it's there. He just doesn't know that it's optimal because the only out is there and he doesn't want to risk losing the game because of something unexpected. Yeah. So how did this game start? Like, who played Zaikai? Did that just Carl, come out? Carl played Zaikai. Yeah, Carl Zykai. played Zaikai on, on his first turn. This game was actually, like, really interesting. Very interesting. Oh my, yeah, you actually missed some amazing things because uh, Carl kept blocking Jason's triple-triple. They're not giving him triple-triples in the weirdest ways. Um... As you can see with Oriole, he could have played Eurodel with a blank D, mm -hmm. which seems a bit safer just because it doesn't put the U out there. Or it puts a U instead of an A. And had he played Eurodel, Jason would have gotten Tuftiest. Or, or uh, he would have gotten. Fatty, fattiest. Well, like no, it was Surety. No, sorry. It was Surety's, Surety's with originally, U. so then he played Recites. And on the next turn, Carl played Vav over like Verb on the top right. And Jason would have had Fattiest for like 140. Wow. Yeah, so Jason must have been feeling all sorts of things. This game time. has been pretty crazy. I, I think this is a really cool game to look at. Yeah, lots yeah of so... Um, I just wanted to mention, there was, there was a tournament, I think it was a, a Lake George tournament a couple of years ago, where I played the word Zaikai three times in 14 games. Whoa, Nice. So I was so happy to that see see Zaikai on the board. Yeah, he's going to play irate. It looks like he's confident. Yeah, yeah. just seeing Zaikai on the board just just brought back memories. That's one of the most incredible things that's happened to me. Yeah, irate wins pretty easily, and it looks like Jason is going to stay undefeated. Carl will be at five and two. That was a really that was a really good game though there were a lot of interesting positions there although i mean admittedly there were a lot of bingos also which are always as fun to look at but it was interesting seeing the thinking on some of the non-bingo racks i think josh you'll probably have fun looking at this game if you do it after it's over yeah i would love to huh. so it seems in the standings julia bogle has fallen she was five and one before this game but now she She's five and two. She has lost to Maddie Kamen, but she's still oh. up almost a hundred points. She was gaining one hundred and six awesome. after six games. Yeah, That's pretty impressive. It's amazing. 
Awesome. That's great. Uh, it's too bad like Cesar isn't playing because if she, she, she would beat him every time. <laughs> <laughs> As she did in California just around a month or two ago. She could beat um, everybody in this field, I think. She, yeah. Michael no, really she's is. She's capable. Six, she's yeah. definitely capable. Yeah. Michael Joey. really's in six. Yeah. What are the standings? I I really so totally Jason is going to be unde- Joe, Jason's going to be undefeated at seven and zero after this with about six hundred spread. Benji's in second, at five and one. Um, Daryl is in fifth. Um, Joey Kraftchik's four and three. Jonathan Lind is four and two. Jack Norman's up there. Yeah. So a big, lot of different people up there, which is pretty yeah, so sweet. Yeah, a lot of different things could happen tomorrow. Ranges. And we just got Jonathan Lind winning against John Karras, so he is 5-2 and two in ninth place. Nice. nice. So I'm not actually sure who's up next. G? Um, we'll check the standings. We'll let you know. Um, I think next, game's in the, next game is, the next game on Table 1 is going to be Jason Lee versus Daryl Day. Oh, sweet. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> um... Well, that'll be interesting. So it's not over yet, guys. I mean, I I doubt Jason's going to screw this up, but no, he's it's already. it's always possible, even when you have the game won. It seems to just totally, totally mess up and like it's true. play a phony <laughs> or something. And so it's always important, even if you seem like you're going to lose, and just like he'll make any play and you, yeah, and you loot and you you just lose. You just have to hope. Like you he, always have to hope up. that they totally spaz out. Yeah. And like Jason <laughs> plays something like L O E or something. You know that kind but of. He did not mess up. Reminds, it reminds me of that statistic where, uh, you know how like uh, a lot of the highest rate of, of motor accidents happen right near your house, and I think it's the same kind of thing. Where it's like once you feel comfortable somewhere, then you're more likely to just sort of let things slip. So Absolutely. good job, Jason, yeah. for not messing that one up. Looks like a twenty point win for Jason. That's a that was a really cool. fun game to look at, actually. I that was a really fun game to look at. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> I could hear Kate in the back All right, so telling them. We'll about. we'll be back in a few minutes. We'll be back in five or ten minutes with Daryl Day versus Jason Lee, where Daryl tries to take Jason down once and for all. Okay. All right, we'll be, back, we'll be back soon. Thanks for joining us for round seven of the Crescent City Cup.